Emojis are not words. <laughs> no, one, no one learned anything right now from me saying that. Nobody thought that emojis were words. But I, I like them anyways. They don't have to be words for me to like them if they help your communication. And I do think emojis can help you communicate clearly. I think they can help you clarify your message. So I really like them. I understand you're not going to use them a ton in your professional writing. Maybe not at all but you might use them in some sort of the content that you produce. Maybe it's on social media, or I recently wanted to learn how to use uh, emojis on my desktop, or my laptop rather. Can you use those interchangeably? I'm gonna use them interchangeably on my computer rather than on my phone. It's, you know, everyone knows where the emoji keyboard is on their phone or in Slack or in Skype, you know, it's very obvious where you can go and choose from the variety of emojis that are uh, available. But I didn't know how to do that just if you're on a computer, especially for these videos. Uh, but I thought that there had to be a way. So I learned, because I like popping in emojis on these videos, I'll, I'll do some here just for fun. Emoji, emoji, one more, emoji. So I want to share what I learned. So if you ever are using a computer and you're not sure where the emoji keyboard is, you could um, have it appear very quickly because it's super easy. If you're using a Mac, the command is control, command, space. You hit those keys together, control, command, space, the emoji keyboard appears and you can double click on the one that you want uh, wherever you're typing. If you're using a PC, the command is Windows period or Windows semicolon. Even though I don't use a PC, that was a happy accident because I have a video on how to use a semicolon correctly. And a little spoiler, it's very closely related to the period. So if you're using a PC, and you want to use the emoji keyboard, Windows semicolon, Windows period, and you also get a punctuation lesson at the same time. Pretty cool. So write those down, memorize them, and I will see you in the next video.